We're on number 30 out of 117 scriptures in the Old Testament that every person should know. What would you rather have, strength or wisdom? Imagine if you could, you, if you could have the physique of you know, the Hulk or Arnold Schwarzenegger, or if you could have the gift of wisdom. How many of you would take the gift of strength? How many of you would take the gift of wisdom? Well, I'm gonna tell you which one's more preferable. It's more preferable to, to have wisdom. And if you go and look at the story of Samson, we see the story of a man who had the gift of strength, but he did not have the gift of wisdom. And so he constantly misused the gift that he had. So we're going to look at a little uh, part of Samson's life. I want you to go to Judges chapter 16, verses 18 to 21. So Judges chapter 16, verses 18 to 21. Now I tell you, the, the story of Samson is a heck of a story. If you want to sit down and read through the whole story of Samson, you'll definitely kind of scratch your head a few times. He was a guy who really terrorized the enemies of Israel. He always had them guessing, but at the same time, he just did not have the ability to make good friendships. He didn't trust his parents. He didn't really, you know, respect his parents. And, you know, when it came down to it, he lacked wisdom. He lacked the capacity to enter into meaningful relationships as well. And so it really teaches us something about our own life you know, in regards to all the vanities that we want to avoid while we live this life. So let's go to chapter 16, verses 18 to 21, okay? And so if we go all the way to chapter 16, verses 18 to 21, if you go to chapter 16, 18, it's the story of Delilah. And Delilah saw that he had told her all of his mind and that she sent and called the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up this once, for he has told me all of his mind. Then the lords of the Philistines came up to her and brought the money in their hands. She, she made him sleep upon her knees, and she called a man and had him shave off the seven locks of his head. Then she began to torment him, and his strength left him. And she, and she said, the Philistines are upon you, Samson. And he awoke from his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times and shake myself free. And he did not know that the Lord had left him. And the Philistines seized him and gouged out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with bronze fetters. And he ground at the millstone in the prison. Now, what happened here is that Samson was so confident in his strength that he just thought, you know, life was a game. Everything was a game. He finally gave away the secret about his hair and found out that this girl who supposedly loved him, well, she really didn't love him at all. She just wanted to make some money on the side. And he suffered greatly, had his eyes gouged out. He was reduced to slavery. The story, it, it focuses especially on this, that you know our strength is really in God, it's not in ourselves. And if we have wisdom, we're gonna trust God. We're not gonna trust in ourselves. And so I share this with you, don't trust in yourself. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. If you do, you will always have the source of greatest strength to rely on.